YouTube, your boy Bosco back again with another video. Today we're talking about the updated information on the April and May 2023 releases for Jordan Retros. Let me know what you guys are looking forward to. We got new images, plus we got some more sneakers that are dropping later on in the year that I have some updates on as well, so stick around for that. If you like what you see, hit the like button, share the video. Let's get to these sneakers, you dig? Let's go ahead and get into April. Coming out April 1st for a retail price of 190 bucks, we have the Air Jordan 11 Low Cement Gray. This is pretty much resembling the cool gray coming in the white university blue and cement gray color scheme. You cannot be mad at the white mesh upper with the leather heel detailed as well as cement gray patent leather mud guards, university blue Jumpman branding. You have a white midsole and then the icy blue outsole, which is something I like a lot about this sneaker. As we are getting into the springtime, I think this Air Jordan 11 low is definitely perfect. Let me know what you guys think. Is this something that you will be adding to your collection? Next up on the list, we got the Air Jordan 5 low gray grade school desert berry dropping april 4th for a retail price of 125 dollars this comes in the white coral chalk desert berry and black color scheme of course as you can see this jordan 5 has a white leather upper with smooth leather on the tongues and collar of course you have the signature translucent netting on the sides of the shoe which i'm a fan of you have the coral and berry hints all over the shoe on the jumpman logos inner lining and lace lock midsole as well as the underfoot then you have the milky translucent outsole let me know if you guys are a fan of this colorway for grade school is this a cop or a pass give me your thoughts in the comments next up we have a unique spin on the golf sneaker the air jordan six low golf bordeaux colorway which is pretty fire dropping april 4th for a retail price of 220 bucks comes in a white and bordeaux color scheme of course the white leather upper one thing that's crazy is the droplets that's wrapping around the heel with the bordeaux contrasting accents and the cherry malt teeth on the lace locks jumpman golf branding on the insoles and broidery trophy on the heels then you have the semi translucent outsole i like the color scheme what do you guys think about the droplets on the back of course like representing sweat or his favorite beverage being spilt on the shoe let me know what you guys think about these overall in the comment section below next up dropping april 6th for a retail price of 200 bucks we got the women's air jordan 3 lucky green coming in the white lucky green varsity red cement gray and cell color scheme of course you have the white leather upper base with the elephant print overlays and green contrasting accents, red Jumpman tongue branding, then you have the cell midsole for the age look. Of course, most shoes are doing that nowadays. And then you have the rubber outsole, of course, to complete the design, the gray rubber outsole. Let me know if you guys will be picking up this Lucky Green Jordan 3, dropping April 7th for a retail price of $120. We have the Jordan Tatum 1 in the Zoo colorway. And to be honest, this is one of my favorite colorways of the first four that will be dropping of the Tatum one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is coming in black, metallic gold, university gold, and beach. Of course, this is paying reference to the zoo as you see different animal patterns covering its upper. And then also has the phrase, welcome to the zoo printed on the insoles. Very light shoe, only 120 bucks. What do you guys think about the Jordan Tatum one? Let me know your thoughts. Next up on April 8th for a retail price of $150, we have the Air Jordan 2 Low Seed Sucker. Let me know what you guys think about this color combination. You have Atmosphere, White, Pale Vanilla, and Photon Dust to make up the color scheme. This Jordan 2 Low comes constructed with a mix of material striped and checkered with the Seed Sucker textile and tinted heel counter these are pretty unique as you can see other details include the classic wings and nike air logos on with the og molded sock liner i'm not mad at these they come in full men's sizing of course with special packaging no grade school size from what i'm seeing but let me know what you guys think about these jordan 2 lows in the comments below Next up, we have the Air Jordan 1 High Lucky Green dropping April 15th for a retail price of $180. This is definitely one Jordan 1 that a lot of people are looking forward to this year. Let me know what you guys think about these. Black, lucky green, and white is a color scheme. This Jordan 1 features a white leather base with black and green overlays. Unlike the 2009 pair, this release will include the Nike Air on the tongue tags, which is pretty dope. You have the white midsole with the green rubber outsole. Definitely a fire colorway. I like the fact that it does come with some alternate laces, green and black. Let me know what you guys will do. Lace swapping options or not, is this something that you guys are copying easily or will these sit in stores? Give me your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Personally, I think this might be the best Jordan 1 to release so far in 2023. The next one I'll put right behind that might be the True Blue. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. Wait, I might have spoke too soon. Dropping April 22nd for a retail price of 180 bucks. We got the Air Jordan 1 High Women's OG 
washed pink now this is definitely a fire jordan one from what i'm seeing so far it's a women's exclusive but it also will be available in preschool and toddler sizing coming in the atmosphere white muslin and cell color scheme this jordan one is pretty much just like the 2021 hyper royal it has the white leather base with the pink wash overlays muslin collars swooshes and woven nike air on the tongue labels a cell midsole with the black rubber outsole I'm a big fan of this colorway. I think it looks nice. I'm curious to see what it looks like in hand. Hopefully the pictures are not doing the shoe justice. Let me know if you guys will be adding these to your collection or are they an easy pack? I feel this wash pink has the potential to be a great shoe, but it really depends on what it looks like in person. Next up is one of my favorite silhouettes, the Air Jordan 13. This is the black flint colorway dropping April 22nd for a retail price of 200 bucks. Of course, you cannot go wrong with a flint colorway, black, university red, flint gray and white is a color scheme this jordan 13 has the white leather base with 3m reflective mesh on the side panels which we all love for air jordan 13s you have the flint gray suede on the mud guards and heels you have red branding on the top uh the white midsole black rubber outsole to complete the shoe this shoe will arrive in special packaging and available in full family sizing which is definitely dope might have to grab these myself rate these from a 1 to 10 and do you see yourself adding them to your collection next up dropping april 26 for a retail price of 150 dollars is arguably one of the sneakers of the year with the travis scott air jordan one low women's og olive coming in the sale university red black and medium olive color scheme this travis scott low will feature the black suede base with cell leather overlays other details include the olive suede swooshes laces and cactus jack tongue branding with the red accents on the nike air tongue branding then you have the embroidered heels as well a cell midsole with the olive rubber outsole that's unique i like the graphic details on this shoe as well coming in extended sizes so you know bigger sizes like myself can grab a pair if we're able to let me know what you guys think about the travis scott's and where do these rank among the five previous travis scott jordan one lows that have been dropped in my opinion i feel like the travis scott low fragment might be the best one so far but let me know what you guys think next up we have a jordan retro that i'm a little confused about and i'm gonna tell you why in just a second dropping april 29th for a retail price of 210 bucks we got the air jordan 3 wizards now this one is very dope and unique so i'm seeing that the shoe is supposed to have the nike air branding on the back every picture that i'm seeing right now does not have that coming in the white true blue metallic copper and cement gray color scheme this jordan 3 will look exactly like the pe coming in basically the true blue colorway with the copper swapping out for the red i like that on the Jumpman accent next up we got another fire air jordan 2 coming out in the cement gray colorway on may 6th for a retail price of 175 bucks white cement gray cell and black is the color scheme this Jordan 2, as you can see, has the white leather base with gray detailing, black wings and piping. You have a sail hill counter atop the gray rubber outsole and a skyline graphic on the insole that reads, look up in the air. Let me know what you guys think about this Jordan 2. And this is something that you guys will be adding to your collection. A lot of Jordan 2 dropping in 2023. Let me know where this ranks amongst the other colorways as we have another dope Jordan 2 that we're going to get into in just a second. Let me know your thoughts. Next up, we have a unique Jordan 2 that I'm curious to see what it looks like in person. The cool gray colorway for the women's dropping May 4th for a retail price of 175 bucks. Cool gray, ice blue, and white is the color scheme. This Jordan 2 will feature the cool gray upper constructed with a mix of new buck and suede. Highlighting the shoe are the ice blue contrasting accents with the complete white midsole and the gray and blue rubber outsole. This one definitely is unique from one to 10. It's fire, I think it gave it a 10 and it's a women's exclusive size. So let me know if you guys will be trying to squeeze your feet into it. Next up, we have an Air Jordan 1 OG that I'm curious to see what you guys think about. So please comment down below if you guys are feeling this shoe or not dropping may 6th for a retail price of 180 bucks is the air jordan one high og white cement coming in the tech gray muslin black and white color scheme this right here has the white leather base with the elephant print overlays black swooshes and ankle collar along with the laces and wings logo this colorway is pretty unique and i want to see what the consistency is of that elephant print and if it's going to have some good leather 
Overall, from a 1 to 10 scale, I would give it a solid 7.5. But let me know if this is something you guys are going to go for, or do you see this sitting on shelves for a while? Next up, Jordan Brand is bringing back the snake skin to the women's exclusive sneaker. We have the Air Jordan 11 Low Women's Yellow Snake Skin dropping May 11th for a retail price of 190 bucks. Let me know what you guys think about snake skin on the 11 Lows. Coming in the white, tour yellow, and cell color scheme, this Jordan 11 Low will have the white leather base with the yellow snake skin mud guards. You have a white midsole and then a yellow translucent outsole, which happens to be my favorite feature of the shoe. Overall, from a 1 to 10, I would give this shoe a solid 7.5 as well. But let me know what you guys think, and it's something that you would add to your collection if you could fit. Next up, we have a shoe that a lot of people are anticipating, the Air Jordan 4 Thunder, dropping May 13th for a retail price of $210. Before I get into the details of the sneaker, let me know your thoughts about the Air Jordan 4 overall. I know it's become real popular in recent years. Does the Air Jordan 4 silhouette make Make it into the top five of Jordan's made. Let me know your thoughts about that in the comments below. This right here comes in the black tour yellow combination. Of course, it has the OG shape featuring the black dubuck upper paired with the yellow contracting accents. Then you have the white Jumpman logos atop the black rubber outsole to complete the shoe. Black and yellow is the color scheme. It's definitely one of the most anticipated sneakers of 2023 from what I've been seeing. Overall, is this something that you guys will be picking up? And let me know your thoughts about it from a 1 to 10 score, 10 being the best, 1 being the worst, of course. Let's go ahead and talk about some more heat drop in the summer. Next up, dropping May 20th for a retail price of 200 bucks, the Air Jordan 1 High OG Spider-Man across the Spidey-verse. This Air Jordan 1 comes with the Chicago-style color blocking with the University Red Black and White color scheme. Of course, it has various tones and geometrical shapes, nodding to miles traveling through the multiverse. Black patent leather swooshes with the heel, as well as the red semi-translucent outsole. Of course, this comes with special packaging and a full family size run. Let me know what you guys think about this Jordan 1. Is this considered the sneaker of the year, or are they overdoing it with these Spider-Man sneakers? Let me know your thoughts, of course, in the comments section. Next up, dropping May 25th for a retail price of 140 bucks. We got the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Coconut Milk. This one here comes with a mix of materials detailed with the exposed foam throughout the upper, giving it that deconstructed look. You have the padded Nike Air branded tongues. It comes with the white coconut milk black color scheme. I like the cell midsole with the black rubber outsole combo. Give me your thoughts and opinions about this Air Jordan 1 Low OG. Do you see yourself adding it to your collection? Air Jordan 1 High. This is the OG Craft colorway. Dropping May 27th for a retail price of 180 bucks. This right here is coming in the sale, pale vanilla, and black color scheme. This Jordan 1 comes constructed with seasonal inspired premium leather and double layered canvas materials. Other details include the molded sock liner, Nike Air branding tongues, as well as the shoe coming in its own special packaging. I'm curious to see what this looks like in person. It's going to be a little bit more exclusive as well, so more released at sneaker boutiques as opposed to like the flex store. Overall, is this something that you guys will be trying to add to your collection? Let me know in the comment section below. Definitely a nice sneaker. I'm just not sure how many people will actually be trying to pick it up. Next up, dropping May 27th for a retail price of 210 bucks. We got the Air Jordan 14 Laney. This is definitely a fire and a classic Jordan 14. Of course, it comes in that classic Varsity Royal black and varsity maze along with that white and a color scheme nodding to the famous North Carolina high school. This Jordan 14 looks very similar to the low top featuring the black and blue royal premium nubuck suede upper yellow contracting accents with the white foam midsole of top the black rubber outsole. Let me know what you guys think about these 14s. Next up, I have some updated images on the Air Jordan 3 Palomino that's dropping later in August on the 19th for a retail price of 200 bucks. I definitely like this color scheme and it might be something that I have to scoop up. Coming in the light or with brown, metallic gold, light British tan and Palomino color scheme. You cannot go wrong with that light or with brown suede upper. I think that's gonna look really good in hand. It has the brown elephant print overlays on the eye stay, toe, and heel. I like the uh, metallic gold Jumpman logo on the tongue, insole, and heels. Then you have the sail midsole and gray rubber outsole. You have Jordan text underfoot to complete the shoe. I like the special packaging it comes in as well. Overall, the Jordan 3 Palomino is a 10 out of 10. In my opinion, let me know what you guys think in the comments. The Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagined dropping in March of 2024. A lot of people are definitely excited. This Air Jordan 4 will be adding to Jordan's brand Reimagined series scheduled for early 2024. 
2024. Is this an easy cop or a pass? It's definitely gonna look aged like they always have been doing with the Red Magic sneakers. Of course, this is a very classic colorway too. So I'm looking forward to it. Let me know your thoughts, of course, in the comments below. Next up, I wanna talk about this new Jordan Fusion that has dropped the Jordan MVP 678 Raptors colorway. Very unique shoe. I like the color combination. The Jordan MVP 678 takes the name from Michael Jordan's first three NBA titles, where he was also finals MVP. The shoe pays tribute to three of his signature sneakers that he wore during those years. The upper is incorporating design elements from the Air Jordan 6, 7, and 8. The tongue is a direct nod to the Air Jordan 7, as you can see, while the sole draws inspiration from the Air Jordan 6. The multicolor overlay on the heel is pretty much a nod to the Air Jordan 8, and that kind of completes the Fusion design. Let me know what you guys think about this sneaker. Is this a good look or a bad? Should they leave it alone? Is this something you would cop? Give us the thoughts in the comments below. After seeing these new images of the Jordan 3 Palomino, I definitely think that's something I'm looking forward to down the road. Then of course i think for the month of april this travis scott low might be the highlight let me know if you guys are going to be trying to grab a pair if you want to see what's going on for this summer there's a lot of heat go ahead and check out this video here and i'll see you in that video